So hey everybody, it's your boy William James here. Today um, I just wanted to talk about my film Titanic A Voyage into the Darkness or To the Darkness for whatever you can call I don't know. So um, I'm gonna talk about the behind the scenes of this movie like making of the film and set designs, voice editing, scripts and all the stuff. So it was a kinda terrible film though, but I kinda satisfied with the storytelling like every you know, kind of some of the most important and well known people were there. Like as a characters or something. I really like the storyline. It was accurate, more accurate than some of the films made with Legos. <laughs> I actually inspired by A Night to Remember by Walter Lohr, I guess. So the film, the original film was really long and I wanted to short and into a short film also. So. The film win was started on September or October, I guess. I don't know. And to be fair, I made this film. Uh, I made this video because it's a one-year anniversary of the film. So when first filming the f movie, it was kind of terrible, though. At first, I really need some, you know, filming crew and set aside. Originally, I had more Legos and better set aside at the you know, in the early days, but my cousin destroyed them, so it wasn't made to YouTube. So, so I the model. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the model. The model was originally supposed to be a six that wide, which is really big and inaccurate to be honest because I made that really really thick so and then I made it into three steps wide but it was so slim just like me so I changed that into four steps wide originally I made four steps wide before the three but it wasn't you know, made into a movie, but it made a short that grew my channel even faster. The first, uh, the second four stars Y models was made with more separate sections of the breakup and stuff. So the model was kind of good. It was a little bit more worse than the original four stars, but I really like it. So I'm gonna talk about the filming crew next. The filming crew, which are me, my friend Eric, or Automatic Saw, and Norbert, uh, he's from Thailand. Another one is Tony Stark. He's a like he's a YouTuber. Another one is Brickships1912. That's all the uh, people who work with this film. There's only six. Oh wait, I forgot to tell tell you that there's one of my friends who were on YouTube too. He also in the film. I forgot to tell you. So um, Danny Molly, you know Danny draws on YouTube. He also kind of, you know, helped me with the film. <laughs> it was just one line. He said like, please fix that line to, you know another thing rather than this sucks because it's in 1912 that's the only thing he helped with us so the filming was done there's tons of characters but we only had six voice actors which mean we have to use AI voices as well yeah I actually de did that so move on to the next topic um, the storytelling. The storytelling was 
uh, originally planned to be at first there were there was two friends on a ship I think that was overused I, by the way the two friends of the ship on a ship who you know traveling to America and then the ships like an iceberg iceberg but they forgot their <laughs> suitcase and they run to the cabin and take that and then the ship sinks that's the original idea the second idea was the only feature in Murdoch as a main character um, it's, all, it's not also a really long storytelling by the way the second idea was kind of a bit too you know bad it's only featuring Murdoch the Icebox the Xbox scene and damage inspection yeah the original script name was called Fate of the Titanic by the way uh, the original script I found it from my storage room and then it's just really 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 bad it even featured the Titanic listening to port side brutally on the impact of the iceberg that's the storyline for the movie f at first but I've changed that and focused on historical accuracy because I still saw when I was started f to film the movie I literally saw tons of Lego Titanic films that were not only inaccurate but also getting tons of views so I was kind of jealous of it so you know I made I <laughs> have to make a uh, more accurate film so I made that so another to topic the camera and the sinking shots the sinking shots were mostly inspired from several different movies uh, most of them being a night to remember you can see several shots that are oddly similar to A Night to Remember, 1997, SOS Titanic, 1953, and more and more. Uh, additionally, I even plan to use SOS Titanic soundtrack and sound effects as, you know, main, as, uh, uh, no, no, sound effect, or I guess. But it was console, though. I used another sound as well. Um, the sinking shots, I, like I said, it was inspired from many different films, and the cameras, yeah, we I did both of the uh, techniques. The first one being stop motion, which was used on minifigures. The second one is normal camera, 60 FPS or 30 FPS, or I guess I used them on ship shots and other shots let's move on to the next topic which is um i forgot what topic to tell <laughs> okay so the next topic is deleted scenes and some ins extended scenes that were you know released so um first of all there were several several deleted scenes that were you know, and used because of it's a rash film, but I do remember some of them. One of them was intended to be there, but it was deleted, and it was the old couples, uh, Isidore and Ida Strauss, I guess, and they were on the original script, but I w was cancelled because I don't have many figures of it. Another deleted scene was cafe dia scenes and Californian that's that was also deleted because of rushed another one is the Marconi officers which was it has a, it, an extended version of it that were not filmed in the in extended version it was like really just the last signals but in Lego we have another deleted scene where her bride goes to the bridge and tells Captain Smith that we've uh, we received a message from Carpathia also that was not included because of I didn't even include it on the script but I practiced the voice acting on it. The editing 
the next topic, okay? The editing was kind of terrible though, but I do love the editing. There were some shots, there, there was music and audio that were chosen correctly. And the final topic I want to tell is the sec set designing. The set designing was originally, like I said, destroyed by the cousins, but um, I actually made the set design a lot bigger than original. The origin, the you know, not not uh, the original, but also original. F I don't know. The second adaptation of the set design was too big. It features both port and starboard side of the boat deck with the ADAP prominent, which is too big, and it was also destroyed. So I shrink that into, you know, one side, and here is the picture of the original set design, which was shot before the filming. The set signs were the Marconi rooms, the bridge, or the boat deck, the um, kitchen, the grand staircase, the cargo, no, no, not a cargo hold, it was the boiler room. And I forgot some of them, actually. And for the final, can you guess which scene is the first scene? to be made and you won't believe this <laughs> you remember the scene with the dishes and chicken kitchen kitchen I mean kitchen utilities falling that is the first thing of the entire movie <laughs> okay so that was a little quiz so bye see you next time